My cherished one, as I prepare to lavish upon you the abundance of blessings, the elevations in status, and the monumental breakthroughs that I have carefully stored up for you, it is important for you to understand that I will first allow you to undergo a period of testing as a loving father who desires the best for his child. My heart's deepest longing is to witness your faith flourish and mature, to see your character fortified and your trust in me deepened through the crucible of life's challenges. Just as a devoted parent takes the time to impart valuable lessons and essential skills to their child before bestowing upon them greater freedoms and responsibilities, I, too, will lovingly guide you through a series of tests and trials that have been meticulously designed to refine your spirit and prepare you for the extraordinary plans I have crafted for your life. These challenges are not meant to burden or discourage you, but rather to shape you into the person I have destined you to be, equipping you with the strength, wisdom, and resilience needed to fulfill your God-given purpose. Child, I am fully aware that the concept of facing tests and trials can evoke feelings of apprehension or even fear within your heart. However, I want to offer you the comforting assurance that my intention in allowing these challenging seasons is never to inflict pain or subject you to unnecessary hardship. On the contrary, my purpose is to carefully prepare you for the greater responsibilities that are inherently tied to the abundant blessings I am eager to lavish upon you. You see, my precious child, I have meticulously crafted an extraordinary destiny and a future filled with unimaginable possibilities specifically for you. I have in store for you a myriad of remarkable opportunities, influential platforms, and expansive spheres of impact that I deeply desire to entrust into your capable hands. Yet, before I can elevate you to these higher realms of responsibility and influence, it is crucial that I ensure you are fully prepared and thoroughly equipped to shoulder the weight of accountability that accompanies these positions of great significance. The tests that you face may come to you in a wide variety of forms and manifestations. They may be financial challenges that stretch and deepen your faith teaching you to depend on me wholeheartedly as your unfailing provider. They may be relational conflicts that require you to exercise forgiveness, patience, and unconditional love. And they may even be opportunities where I call you to serve and give sacrificially, even when it feels uncomfortable or inconvenient for you. But know this with unwavering certainty, my dear, cherished child, Every single test, every single challenge that I allow to come into your life has a specific, intentional purpose and plan behind it. It is not random or meaningless. Rather, each one is a carefully and strategically crafted tool that is firmly in my sovereign hands, deliberately designed to shape you and mold you into the unique person that I have sovereignly created you to become. They are meant to prepare you for the incredible, glorious future that I have meticulously planned and prepared for you to walk in. I know that these trials can feel heavy, difficult, and perplexing at times, but I want you to understand that I am intimately acquainted with every step of your journey. I see the big picture, even when the path ahead seems unclear or shrouded in darkness to your natural eyes. These tests are not meant to harm you, but to strengthen you, to refine your character, and to equip you for the amazing plans I have in store. As you face and navigate these inevitable tests and trials, it is absolutely essential that you keep your eyes firmly fixed upon me, and that you choose to trust wholeheartedly in my unwavering goodness and unfailing faithfulness. I urge you to continually lean into and draw from the full measure of my supernatural strength, my wisdom, and my abundant grace whenever you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or deeply discouraged. Remember that I am with you always, and I am sovereignly using every one of these challenges and tests to produce within you a greater, more refined measure of faith, perseverance, and Christ-like character. 
James 1, 2-4. As you pass each test and overcome every challenge that comes your way, you are proving yourself to be faithful and trustworthy with even the smaller, more manageable responsibilities that I have entrusted to you. And as you continue to demonstrate your steadfast faithfulness in the little things, I am then able to entrust you with greater, more significant tasks and opportunities. Remember, I am your loving Heavenly Father, and I am fully committed to your growth, your maturity, and your ultimate success. I am not trying to harm you or hold you back in any way, but rather, I am deliberately working to prepare you and position you for the incredible, glorious future that I have sovereignly planned and prepared for you. So I encourage you, keep your eyes steadfastly fixed upon me and continue to trust wholeheartedly in my perfect, unwavering love and divine wisdom. Allow me to work powerfully in and through your heart and your life by means of these tests and challenges, knowing with full assurance that they are truly just brief and tiny bumps in the road compared to the glorious, majestic mountain of blessings that I cannot wait to shower lavishly upon you. One of the key areas in which I will specifically test and evaluate you is the vital matter of stewardship. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 16, verses 10 through 12, my eternal word clearly states that whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. This passage reveals a vital, foundational principle before I can ever trust you with the bestowal of greater blessings and more expansive responsibilities, I must first see and witness how you handle and steward the smaller, more manageable things that I have already placed within your hands. I watch closely and attentively to discern and evaluate how you are managing the resources, the time, and the talents that I have already entrusted into your care. Are you using them wisely, faithfully, and with diligence, or are you instead carelessly wasting and neglecting them? Stewardship is not just about the proper management of finances and material wealth, although that is certainly an important part of it. Rather, it encompasses absolutely everything that I have entrusted to your care. Your relationships, your health, your work, your home, and most importantly, your personal relationship and connection with me. Are you being a good, trustworthy steward of all of these precious, invaluable gifts? When you prove yourself to be faithful and trustworthy in handling and stewarding the smaller, more manageable things I have entrusted to you, it clearly shows me that you are now ready and prepared to take on greater responsibilities and opportunities. But if you instead choose to neglect or squander what I have given you, how then can I ever entrust you with so much more? If you are slothful and lackadaisical in your current labor, not giving it your very best effort as if you were working directly for me, how can I then promote you to a higher position or open up even better doors of opportunity for you? And if you are being careless and irresponsible with the care and stewardship of the physical health that I have gifted you, how can I ever trust you with the vital energy and vibrant vitality that you will most certainly need for the greater work and calling that I have set apart and prepared for you to do? One of the most important foundational lessons that you must learn is the truth that my bountiful blessings and provisions often come hand in hand with increased responsibilities and not just rewards. As you pray fervently for breakthroughs and abundant blessings to manifest in your life, are you also intentionally preparing and positioning yourself to steward the responsibilities that will inevitably come with them? Are you being diligent and faithful with what I have already placed directly into your capable hands? Are you faithfully serving and blessing others, giving generously, and using the full measure of your unique talents and abilities to build and advance my eternal kingdom? If so, then you can be assured that I will continue to entrust you with even greater things, for my glory 
and your ultimate good. If you deeply desire to see my bountiful blessings poured out and manifested in your life, then you must first be willing to fully embrace and take ownership of the responsibilities that I have given you to steward in this current season. Do not despise or look down upon the small, seemingly insignificant beginnings or the mundane, routine tasks, for they are in fact the critical proving ground and testing ground for your future promotion and advancement. When you faithfully and diligently steward and manage your existing responsibilities, no matter how insignificant or trivial they may appear to be in your own eyes, you are demonstrating to me that you can be fully trusted with so much more. You are passing the essential test of true responsibility, showing and proving that you are now ready and equipped to handle the greater blessings, opportunities, and more expansive assignments that I have sovereignly prepared and reserved for you. But responsibility is not the sole lesson that I want you to learn and grow in the midst of the trials and challenges you face. I also deeply desire for you to grow in wisdom, faith, and a deeper understanding of my divine ways and purposes. When you find yourself in the midst of a frustrating or painfully difficult circumstance, do not be quick to simply rush through it or try to escape it as quickly as possible. Instead, I encourage you to pause and ask me what it is that I am trying to teach and reveal to you in the midst of it all. For every single trial and test you face is inherently an opportunity to deepen and strengthen your relationship with me, as well as to learn and internalize invaluable truths that will serve you exceptionally well in the days and seasons to come. I may be using these experiences to teach you deeper lessons in patience, perseverance, forgiveness, or compassion. I may be sovereignly growing and strengthening the faith muscles within you, choosing to demonstrate that you can indeed fully trust in me, even when the path forward is not yet clearly visible or discernible. I fully understand and recognize that it is not easy or simple to endure the hardships and trials that come your way, but I want you to know and believe this promise with unwavering confidence. They are never, ever wasted or meaningless. Every single struggle and challenge you face is an invaluable chance for me to reveal myself to you in a fresh, profound way, to demonstrate my steadfast faithfulness and my mighty power to bring incomparable beauty and redemption even from the ashes. As you courageously walk through these difficult, challenging seasons, I urge you to cling tightly to me and to continuously lean into the full measure of my supernatural strength. Seek my face, seek my wisdom, and ask me to give you eyes that can perceive and discern the life-changing lessons I am seeking to teach you, as well as a heart that is willing to humbly learn and grow through the process. When you approach and navigate your trials and tribulations with a posture of genuine teachability, you will discover that they have the power to become remarkable opportunities for profound, life-altering transformation. You will then emerge from them stronger, wiser, and more fully equipped to handle and steward the abundant blessings, as well as the increased responsibilities that I have sovereignly prepared and reserved for you. They wrongly believe that they will only be able to truly shine and make a meaningful difference when they have the right platform, the necessary resources, or the ideal connections in place. But this is not at all how I, the Lord, operate or function. I am looking for and actively seeking out those who will be diligent, excellent, and faithful in the here and now, regardless of their current outward circumstances or limitations. I am closely watching and observing to see how you handle and steward the specific tasks, relationships, and responsibilities that I have already sovereignly placed directly into your capable hands. Are you giving them your full, undivided attention and unwavering effort, or are you instead half-heartedly going through the routine motions, simply waiting and hoping for something better or more impressive to come along? Your current diligence and excellence is a direct reflection of the true condition of your character, 
as well as your readiness and preparedness for future increase and promotion. If you cannot be fully trusted to give your very best to the small, seemingly insignificant assignments and responsibilities, then how can I ever trust you with handling greater, more expansive ones? And if you are not faithful and committed in managing and stewarding even the little that I have already entrusted into your care, then why would I ever consider entrusting you with so much more? Remember the powerful parable of the talents that I shared in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25. The servants who diligently invested and multiplied the talents that had been given to them were then rewarded with even more responsibilities and opportunities. But the servant who buried his talent, making excuses and waiting endlessly for the perfect moment, ended up even having the little that he had taken away from him entirely. I hold no disdain for modest origins or unpretentious circumstances. Indeed, it is often within these very contexts that I evaluate and refine my children, readying them for more significant endeavors to come. If you can master the art of being exemplary and dependable in routine, everyday responsibilities, you will cultivate the character and competencies necessary to manage the weightier tasks and blessings I have in store for you. Rather than lamenting your present circumstances or passively awaiting change, seize the opportunities I've placed within your immediate reach. Invest your utmost effort into your occupation, academic pursuits, personal connections, and spiritual service, regardless of how insignificant or unrecognized they may appear. Approach every obligation as a hallowed trust from me and immerse yourself in it with unparalleled dedication and thoroughness. Remember, this process of growth through faithfulness in small things is not merely for your personal development. As you embrace and excel in your current circumstances, you become a living testimony to the transformative power of diligence and faithful stewardship. Your journey from small beginnings to greater responsibilities serves as an inspiration to others, demonstrating that every task, no matter how mundane, can be a stepping stone to higher purposes. As you exhibit unwavering loyalty in matters that may seem inconsequential, I will begin to orchestrate a symphony of opportunities, guiding you into expansive arenas of influence and heightened responsibility. Your current perseverance and attention to detail are akin to seeds being planted in fertile soil, destined to yield a bountiful harvest of future advancement and divine favor in your life's journey. However, do not fall into the trap of believing that diligence alone is the benchmark by which I measure your stewardship. My gaze extends far deeper, penetrating the very core of your being. I am keenly observing how you nurture and apply the spiritual wisdom and divine revelations I have already graciously imparted to you. Are you allowing these truths to transform your life? Are you sharing them with others? Or are they lying dormant, like talents buried in the ground? This dual test of faithfulness in both the tangible and intangible realms is crucial for your holistic development. It's not enough to excel in your worldly responsibilities while neglecting your spiritual growth nor is it sufficient to accumulate spiritual knowledge without practical application. As you navigate this journey, remember that every small act of obedience, every moment spent meditating on my word, every instance of applying spiritual insights to your daily life, these are all noted and valued in my sight. They are the building blocks of your character, shaping you into a vessel fit for noble purposes. It illustrates that true growth and promotion in my kingdom are not haphazard or based on mere chance. Rather, they are the result of consistent faithfulness in every aspect of life, both visible and invisible. By stewarding well both the practical tasks and spiritual revelations entrusted to you, you're not only preparing yourself for increased influence, but also becoming a beacon of integrity and spiritual maturity. Your life becomes a powerful sermon, 
speaking volumes about the rewards of diligence and the transformative power of applied spiritual wisdom. It encourages others to approach their own responsibilities, no matter how mundane, with renewed vigor and purpose. It challenges them to take seriously the spiritual truths they've received, not merely accumulating knowledge, but allowing it to reshape their lives from the inside out. When I impart wisdom to you, be it through my sacred texts, during moments of communion, or via the insights of others, how do you respond to this divine disclosure? Do you treasure it, ponder its depths, and integrate it into your daily existence? Do you disseminate this knowledge, using it to expand my dominion, or do you allow it to fade away, neglecting to implement what you've learned? Your dedication to the insights I've already bestowed upon you plays a pivotal role in determining whether you're prepared for deeper revelations. I am disinclined to entrust profound spiritual truths to those who fail to steward them responsibly. My most profound wisdom and intimate disclosures are reserved for those who have demonstrated fidelity to the understanding they currently possess. Your journey from receiving to applying and sharing spiritual insights serves as an inspiration to others, demonstrating the transformative power of active faith. This principle is reflected in my words from Matthew 13, 12. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. Those who cherish and responsibly manage the spiritual insights they've received will be granted even more profound revelations. Conversely, those who disregard or misuse the divine truths imparted to them will find their current understanding diminishing. Therefore, I urge you to exercise diligence not only in your worldly duties, but also in your spiritual development and compliance with my will. When I communicate with you through my teachings or the gentle nudges of my spirit, don't merely acknowledge these truths superficially and then continue your life unchanged. Instead, treat these revelations with the utmost seriousness and seek my guidance in implementing them into your daily existence. Dedicate yourself to the diligent study of my teachings, invest time in my presence, and adhere to the truths I have already revealed to you. As you demonstrate your reliability with the spiritual understanding you possess, I will entrust you with even more profound revelations and insights. You will advance in wisdom and knowledge, becoming equipped to handle the deeper aspects of my kingdom. This danger lies in the complacency and over-familiarity that can develop towards the good things I have already bestowed upon you. It's natural, over time, to begin taking my blessings for granted. When you initially receive a breakthrough or provision from my hand, your heart overflows with gratitude and enthusiasm. You're quick to offer praise and share my goodness with others. However, as time passes and that blessing becomes an integral part of your life, you may find yourself growing complacent and even indifferent to the miracle I have granted you. I must caution you about a precarious state of mind that can develop over time. When you lose your sense of wonder and gratitude for my blessings, you tread on dangerous ground. This complacency puts you at risk of forfeiting the very gifts you've grown accustomed to. I am continually seeking hearts that remain in awe of my goodness, regardless of how long they've walked with me or how familiar they've become with my provision. Guard your heart diligently against the subtle erosion of gratitude. It's all too easy to begin seeing my blessings as ordinary, expected, or even as entitlements. But I urge you to resist this mindset with all your strength. Every positive aspect of your life, from the air you breathe to the most extraordinary breakthrough, is a gift lovingly bestowed by my hand. I take great delight in your recognition of these gifts, and your heartfelt appreciation for them. Cultivate a spirit of thankfulness that goes beyond mere words. Let it permeate your thoughts, your actions, and your very being. 
When you maintain this attitude of gratitude and diligently steward what I've entrusted to you, you align yourself with the flow of my blessings. You position yourself to receive even greater outpourings of my favor and more significant breakthroughs. I am irresistibly drawn to hearts that overflow with praise and appreciation, even for the smallest of my gifts. These grateful hearts are like magnets for my blessings. Their thankfulness creates a cycle of giving and receiving that continually expands. However, be warned, when you allow yourself to become apathetic or indifferent to my blessings, you risk being passed over for future increases. This may sound harsh, but it stems from my perfect wisdom and love. I cannot in good conscience entrust more to one who does not value or properly manage what they've already been given. It would be like pouring water into a leaking vessel, not only wasteful, but potentially harmful. Remember, child, that gratitude is not just about saying thank you. It's about recognizing the source of every good thing in your life and honoring that source through your actions. It's about stewarding well what you've been given, multiplying it, and using it to bless others. This principle of gratitude and stewardship extends far beyond your personal life. As you cultivate a consistently thankful heart and diligently manage my blessings, you become a living testimony to the power of gratitude and faithful stewardship. Your life becomes a beacon shining forth the joy and abundance that flow from a heart attuned to divine goodness. Others will look at your life and see the difference. They'll wonder at the peace that surrounds you, even in difficult times. They'll be amazed at how you seem to go from strength to strength, blessing to blessing. And through your example, they'll be inspired to recognize and appreciate the divine gifts in their own lives. Let gratitude be the lens through which you view every aspect of your life. Let it fuel your worship, energize your service, and infuse your relationships with joy. As you do, you'll find that your capacity for receiving and giving multiplies. You'll enter into a beautiful dance of gratitude and grace, where each blessing received becomes a catalyst for even greater things to come. I urge you today to reevaluate the blessings in your life with a fresh perspective. Contemplate the prayers I've answered, the provisions I've made, and the breakthroughs I've orchestrated. As you nurture a spirit of thankfulness, you'll find your heart becoming more attuned to my presence and my gifts. You'll begin to discern my hand at work even in the minutious details of your existence and your faith will be fortified to believe for even greater manifestations of my grace. However, gratitude is not the sole key to positioning yourself for increased blessings. I also wish to emphasize the significance of generosity and faithful stewardship, particularly in the realm of your financial resources. In 2 Corinthians 9, 6 to 11, my word provides a powerful illustration of the principle of sowing and reaping. It states, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Your renewed appreciation for blessings and your willingness to give generously serve as an inspiration to others demonstrating the joy and fulfillment that come from recognizing God's goodness and participating in His economy of grace. By embracing these principles, you're not only positioning yourself for increased blessings, but also becoming a channel through which others can experience the transformative power of gratitude and generosity. This fundamental principle extends beyond the realm of finances, encompassing every aspect of your existence. The manner in which you manage and liberally share the resources I've entrusted to you directly influences the magnitude of blessing and growth you'll encounter. When you cling tightly to your assets, be it your time, abilities, or monetary resources, you inadvertently constrain my capacity to bless you abundantly. However, when you adopt an open-handed approach, willingly and generously giving, 
You create a conduit through which I can lavish blessings upon you in unprecedented measure. Adopting this mindset of generous stewardship, you're not only positioning yourself for increased blessings, but also becoming a channel through which others can experience the transformative power of God's generosity. Your life becomes a practical example of the spiritual law of sowing and reaping, encouraging others to trust in God's provision and participate in His cycle of blessing. I am seeking individuals whose hearts are inclined towards sharing readily, blessing others promptly, and investing eagerly in my kingdom. I take great pleasure in those who give, not out of a sense of duty or hesitation, but with a joyful and willing spirit, placing their trust in my capacity to provide. As you generously sow into others' lives and into the work of my kingdom, you can rest assured that I will faithfully multiply your offerings and bring forth an abundant harvest of blessings in your own life. Generosity transcends mere financial giving. It is a heart disposition that permeates every facet of your existence. Do you freely give of your time? Are you quick to forgive? Do you lavish love and encouragement on others? Are you vigilant in seeking opportunities to bless and serve, even when it demands personal sacrifice? As you nurture a generous spirit, you will find yourself aligning more closely with my nature, for I am the epitome of generosity and giving. So I encourage you earnestly today to take the time to carefully examine the true condition and orientation of both your heart and your life. Are you diligently stewarding and managing what I have already entrusted and given to you with a spirit of profound gratitude and a generous heart? Or are you instead gripping tightly and clinging possessively to your resources, unwilling to freely share them with others as I lead and direct you? As you resolutely pass the test and prove yourself faithful in the area of generosity and wise, trustworthy stewardship, you can then trust with an unshakable confidence that I will respond by pouring out my blessings upon you in even greater, more abundant measure. As you walk with me, growing deeper in faith, I lovingly remind you of the special gifts and talents I have planted within you. When I knit you together in your mother's womb, I intentionally shaped each intricate detail of your being, including the distinctive passions, abilities, and personality that make you uniquely you. These are not random traits or afterthoughts, but purposeful blessings crafted by my hand, designed for my glory and to benefit others. Whether your skills lie in writing, speaking, creating art, encouraging hearts, or other areas, Know that these gifts represent a sacred trust from me. But hear this, beloved. Your talents are not meant to lie dormant or unused. They are intended to be shared freely, nurtured diligently and multiplied for the advancement of my kingdom. Do not compare yourself to others, but rest confidently in how I've shaped you. Stay surrendered to my continual work in your life. Where I guide, follow without hesitation. How I lead, trust without reservation. Together we will cultivate the gifts within you to yield a greater harvest for eternity. I have impossibly big plans for how I will use you, my child. As you yield to my shaping hands, you will bloom into all I've destined you to become. Keep your focus firmly fixed on me as you grow. The most beautiful blossoms are yet to unfold. There are gifts still undiscovered, talents waiting to bud, Areas of your heart still to be refined and prepared for what I have in store. As you courageously employ your gifts to serve and bless in my name, doors open for greater kingdom responsibility and influence. I seek faithful stewards who will invest well the talents entrusted them. When you steward your gifts wisely, pursuing my purposes, you demonstrate readiness for enlarged blessing and opportunity. Be bold and brave in employing all I've imparted to you. Let not fear, insecurity, or inadequacy restrain you. Recall I've equipped you amply for the works prepared for you. As you begin utilizing your talents for my glory, you'll discover growth, expansion, open doors. Step out in faith and obedience, prove yourself faithful with little, 
and I'll trust you with greater things. Your gifts are irrevocable callings, not meant for hiding but for harvest. They will blossom as you give them away. Walk in the strength I provide, stay fixed on me, and partner with my spirit to cultivate lasting fruit. The world awaits what I have placed within you, beloved. I smile knowing the lives that will be touched, encouraged, and inspired through your surrender and service. I wish to share an important principle, exponential increase through faithfulness. Consider a tree planted by water, unseen growth occurring below ground before visible fruit appears. As roots reach deep and wide, drawing greater nutrients, the tree is strengthened to grow tall and bear more fruit. Similarly, when you diligently steward current blessings and responsibilities, you cultivate an invisible foundation for exponential promotion. Your commitment in small things demonstrates readiness for greater things. By managing well what you already have, your capacity enlarges for more. It is easy to desire great influence and resources, yet neglect present duties. But fruitfulness flows from faithfulness. Don't despise humble beginnings. Be thorough, be consistent, be excellent in your day-to-day -day assignments. In due season, your roots will support towering growth. For now, stay focused on being faithful where I've placed you. Keep your roots anchored firmly in me. Allow my spirit to shape your inner life, even when outward growth seems stalled. In time, you will flourish and bear abundant fruit for my kingdom. Just as a tree sends roots deep before bearing fruit, when you're faithful with what I've already given, you establish a firm foundation for increase. By stewarding small things well, you prove yourself ready for greater things. But understand this, I frequently use current blessings to test you. So be found faithful, diligent, uncompromising in small things. Walk in humility, stewarding all as unto me. Choose generosity over greed, compassion over indifference, integrity over compromise. Serve those I place in your path. By proving trustworthy in the small, you ready yourself for the large. How you steward your gifts and resources in this season determines the level of increase to come. So be diligent and faithful with what I've placed in your care. Use your talents to serve others and glorify me. In doing so, doors will open you never imagined. You'll experience exponential growth and blessing in every sphere, discovering deep joy as a trustworthy steward. Remember, I'm always with you guiding, empowering you to leverage your gifts for my glory. Lean on me, trust my strength, step out in bold faith employing what I've given you. I delight to pour out increase on faithful servants who walk in obedience. That overflow is meant to bless others, furthering my kingdom purposes. Allow me to shape your inner life, cultivating wisdom, integrity and generosity, soil ready to receive abundant seed. Beloved, I eagerly anticipate the wondrous works I will achieve through you as you faithfully steward your gifts. And I assure you, as you prove trustworthy in small things, I'll entrust you with greater things. I love you with an everlasting love, wholly committed to you, fulfilling every purpose I have prepared. Embrace this season of growth and preparation, for it leads to exponential increase and influence. I am unlimited in blessing and provision, able to do far beyond all you ask or imagine. As you give generously and steward faithfully, you open the door for me to work mightily on your behalf. Allow me to shape your inner life, cultivating wisdom, integrity, and Christ-like virtue, soil ready to receive abundant seed and yield bountiful harvest. Keep your focus firmly fixed on me as you walk in simple obedience day by day. The most astounding fruitfulness lies ahead. As you give cheerfully and steward diligently what I've entrusted you, watch in awe as I multiply your seed and reap blessing beyond imagination. My heart overflows with love for you. I delight to pour out increase on servants who walk in generosity and faithfulness. So lean on me, trust my provision, keep your spirit attentive to my leading. For every promotion is preceded by a test, I'm ever watching how you steward resources physically and spiritually. 
The size of harvest ahead directly correlates to your faithfulness now. Embrace times of testing as preparation for enlargement. Remain faithful when temptation arises to hoard my blessings. Excellence in small things demonstrates readiness for greater responsibility. Reflect my generosity in all your ways. Your faithfulness now unlocks greater glories prepared for you. Do not despise humble beginnings or mundane duties. Embrace them as proving grounds for enlarged influence. Excel in current circumstances. Walk in integrity with the revelations given you. As you pass tests of stewardship, I will open doors and pour out blessings beyond imagination. I am with you always, guiding, empowering you to live diligently and faithfully before me. Lean on my wisdom, keep your spirit open and attentive to my leading. As you walk in obedience and stewardship, my hand of favor and promotion will rest upon you in unprecedented measure. Your current service is cultivating a legacy that will echo into eternity. Just stay the course. Continue proving yourself trustworthy. Do not grow weary in well-doing. The temptations to compromise and slacken are real, but cling to me. I will renew your strength when energy runs low. Together we will walk the path of diligence and integrity, cultivating lasting fruit. The love I have for you transcends time and space. Since before the foundations of the earth were laid, my heart has been turned towards you in unwavering devotion. I am wholly committed to seeing every purpose and plan destined for you come to fruition. My intent is not to tear you down through these trials, but to build you up and edify you. I am not depriving you, but equipping and empowering you for greater things to come. Even when the lessons seem difficult and the way ahead unclear, trust in my benevolence, care, and wisdom. Embrace the duties and talents I have entrusted you with today, small as they may seem, for they are stepping stones leading upwards towards the grand plans I have for your future. When hardships assail you, do not flee or fight against them. Rather, draw near to them in trust, knowing that through them I am molding and shaping you into the person you were created to become. I am always with you, guiding your steps, strengthening your spirit, and cheering your heart. In this journey, you are never alone, for my presence lives within you, empowering you with courage and faith to face every challenge set before you. Pass these tests of responsibility and learn the lessons I teach and you will witness my blessings and favor poured out in your life beyond what you can fathom. My love for you transcends time, and I am devoted to seeing you fulfill every purpose and plan destined for you. Welcome this season of growth and preparation, for it is guiding you directly into the abundant life I have in store for you, my precious child. I long to grant you the deepest desires of your heart and fulfill every dream and vision I have placed within you. As you journey through seasons of adversity in the days stretched out before you, do not lose spirit or give way to despair. Always remember that my hand is upon you, guiding and sustaining you. I am using every struggle and test of faith to strengthen your character and prepare you for greater works ahead. When the storms of life rage fiercely and you feel overwhelmed, Fix your eyes solely on me. Draw deeply from my well of grace, peace, and persevering strength. I will impart to you all the wisdom, courage, and endurance required to prevail victoriously through every trial. I will be your shelter in the tempest, your rock and foundation when all else is shaken. Know that I am not withholding good gifts from you, my beloved. I am a loving father who takes great delight in blessing his children. If blessings are delayed, it is only because I am taking time to prepare your heart to receive them. I am refining you in the furnace of affliction, purging away all impurities so that your soul may shine brightly for my glory. Trust in my flawless timing and sovereign plan. Have faith in my methods, though they are beyond understanding. Surrender yourself fully to the loving hands of your potter who gently molds you into a vessel of honor and purpose. Allow me to complete my perfect work in you, 
and in due time, you will witness my promises coming to pass. Every dream I've implanted, every hope I've kindled, it will blossom miraculously before your eyes. Do not make the mistake of underestimating small beginnings, for mighty oaks grow from the tiniest of seeds. See every challenge as a precious gift from my hand, thanking me for the opportunity to grow through it. Each one is a sign of my great love for you and evidence of the great plans I have for your future. Steward well all that I have currently placed in your care, no matter how humble it may be, and stand amazed as you witness me bless and multiply it. I am always by your side, guiding, strengthening, cheering your heart. In this journey, you are never alone. My spirit resides within you, empowering you to victoriously pass every single test on the path ahead. Come to me when you are weary, lay your burdens down and find rest in my presence. Entrust yourself fully to my guidance, allowing me to lead you one step at a time along the path I have prepared. As you pass these tests of stewardship, you will witness my blessings and favor cascading upon you in ways you never dreamed possible. I have planned an incredible future for you, my child, and it begins with faithfulness in small things. I am wholly devoted to seeing you fulfill every purpose and plan I have conceived for your life. Embrace this season of testing as a gift, for it is ushering you directly into the abundant blessings I have waiting for you up ahead. You belong to me, and I belong to you, now and for all eternity. I will never leave you nor forsake you, my precious beloved child. We will walk this journey hand in hand together. Always remember that you are mine and I am yours forever and always without end. Amen.